Hello everyone. My name is Owen. I'm an occupational therapy student working with the Arizona Technology Access Program. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect your quad stick controller to your consoles using a Cronus Max and a Cronus Zen. The consoles that we will be going over in today's video are the Xbox One, the Xbox Series X, the PS4, and the PS5. So first what we're going to do is we're going to get our Cronus Max adapter and we're going to go ahead and plug it into the front of our Xbox um, One. And here it is. Here's the adapter. So we're going to plug it into that first USB slot right there. And when we plug it in, it'll light up and it'll flash an A and a U, and it'll just alternate between the letter A and U. Then we're going to plug our standard Xbox controller in there. It's corded, so we put the, t uh, the micro USB in the controller and then connect that to the Cronus Max. And once we do that, um, the Cronus Max LED screen will change to a zero. That'll show that the input has been registered, and once we unplug it, it will flash kind of like that, letting it us know that we can go ahead and plug our quad stick controller into the Cronus Max. So our quad stick will boot up and once it's finished booting up it will work on our Xbox One console. Luckily, the Xbox Series X also works with the same adapter and same technique as our Xbox One. So again, we're going to plug the Cronus Max into that front USB panel, and the A and U will begin flashing again. We have our Xbox One controller with a USB-C cable connected and we are going to go ahead and plug that into the Cronus Max adapter. Once the zero shows up on our Cronus Max adapter, we will go ahead and unplug our controller. So there's the zero. The controller works and now we're just going to unplug our controller and plug in our quad stick controller and that will allow our quad stick controller to work on an Xbox Series X. Right, so we have the quad stick plugged in the way that we would connect it to the computer. Plug it into our Cronus Max device. Our quad stick is now going to boot up. It has power. It's zero, so it is registered as a controller now. And our quad stick device now works on our Xbox Series X. So we're going to go ahead and plug our quad stick device into our PlayStation console. Um, please note that you have to turn off the Bluetooth connection to your PS4 controllers in order to get the quad stick device to connect to your PlayStation 4. You don't need an adapter for the PS4 um, and your quad stick will work. To connect our quad stick device to a PlayStation 5 we have to go into our settings. We have to make sure that our controller will never power down, so we're going to go to the power saving feature under System and make it to where our controllers don't turn off. Next, we're going to go to our Accessory tab, and we're going to go to Controllers. We want to change the communication method of our controllers to use the USB cable. Next, we're going to turn off the Bluetooth on our PlayStation 5 console. So I'm going to 
click continue and then our PlayStation will restart. Now we are going to be using a Cronus Zen in order to um, connect our quad stick to our PlayStation 5. We are going to be using the Cronus Zen to connect our quad stick to our PS5. Make sure that your Cronus Zen firmware is updated. I will link a video to show you how to do that below. So once your controller is wired, um, you want to turn off the accessory. So I'm going to turn off the controller and unplug it. Now I'm going to plug in the PlayStation controller to the left port on the Cronus Zen and now I can connect that to my PlayStation 5 console and due to the new firmware update it will run a script to automatically connect to the PS5 so you just have to plug it in. Now the PlayStation controller is working through the Cronus Zen. Now that the PlayStation controller works through the Zen we're going to go ahead and plug the quad stick into that um, first port down at the bottom, and now the quad stick has power. And as you can see, my quad stick device is now controlling the PlayStation. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like further resources, please go to our, go to our website at um, the link on the screen. We'll provide that in the, the description below, along with the email for the gaming clinic at aztapgamingclinic at nau.edu. We're also available by phone to schedule appointments or answer any questions at 602-728-9501 or 1-800-477-9921, and then you'll follow the prompts uh, on the phone. Again, thank you for watching the video, and be sure to check out our next one where we'll code the quad stick.